All right, here's a good, I want to ask you a question. Yeah, sure. I had a guy call in the other day, two days ago on the Rise Guy. Yeah. He said, I cheated on my wife and I feel like I need to tell her because it's driving me crazy. I said, well, when did it happen? 10 years ago, 10 years ago. He has a son who's nine. He cheated on his wife while she was pregnant. And he says that every time he looks at his, his not every time obviously, but when he sees his kid, mm -hmm. when he looks at his wife, he feels this incredible guilt. He said, what should I do? What would you do? I'll tell you what I told him, but I want to hear what you would say first. Mine's on tape, so I can't change it. What would you tell him? Because think about that for a minute. We got, we got to quit being so selfish with stuff. Dude, I literally, the fact that you just asked me that question, like, I know TJ's probably freaking out right now, because, like, literally, like, my heart is, like, racing out of my chest right now, because I cheated on my wife, like, years and years ago, my ex-wife. Yeah. And had never told a single person, ever. Our daily bread. I want the whole basket. Cause I'm a hustle till I get it or I'm in a casket. Passionate for providing value in every way. Not cashing in for providing value every day. Paying it forward, right thing, I'll do it till I'm dead. I hope you're hungry cause it's time for the daily bread. Like this is literally the first time I've ever said it out loud. Right now? Yeah, right now. Was that you that called my show the other day? No, it was not. Wow. And like literally I've been thinking of a way now, like I have to tell her, and I feel like I have to tell her, so my answer would be yes. Yeah. My ex-wife then, she ended up having an affair for like seven months. And I made her feel terrible for it, you know? Yeah. And, and, I, like, and, and, and it was just like a drunken, stupid thing like yeah. that I had done. This guy was working out of town and just yeah had to feed at the hotel bar and that's exactly like that's literally exactly what it was, um, but I had held that inside and it was it was at this event um, that we had had with with Sean when he was talking he said write down something that you've never told anybody ever before, mm -hmm. and like I had buried it down so far deep that like I forgot like not forgot but like I like almost believed it not to be true like oh, yeah. I almost, like like literally I was trying to think back to it and like I could be I, like I still like I had this mental block yeah. of like not even be able to th not even being able to think about it and so I am going to tell her she probably is going to see this video um, but I am going to talk to her about it and I, t I told my wife my current wife about it she didn't know yeah you know how would she unless I had told her but I told her about it and I didn't know if she was going to be upset. Yeah. Like, I, that, that, you know, I was, it was a different person. Yeah. I was a different person uh, back then. Uh, but when I told her, she, her immediate reaction was, you know, well, you don't need to, like, I know you're all about transparency, but you're like, you don't need to put this stuff out there. Mm -hmm. I was like, yeah, I do. And she was like, why? And she was like, what's, what's, what are, what are her parents going to think? And I'm like, I don't know, maybe a little less, maybe a little less terrible about their daughter. Yeah. They're like, what's her sister gonna think that I'm still really close with, um, and, and you know, friends with? Like, what's her sister gonna think? It's like, I don't know, maybe bad for treating her sister like garbage when she had the affair. Mm -hmm. I'm like, these are all positive things. Yeah. Like, like the truth, the truth, like the truth is set you sets you free. Like, of course, but like, the truth is the only thing that matters yeah like the only thing and and I can't believe in this podcast you we literally talked about how timing is always perfect and you just asked me that question and like it's the like it's literally like where's the landscape blow, when you need it blow, <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> insert dramatic pause um, but like but literally when I wrote that out mm -hmm. I started crying like crying crying mm -hmm. Because it was that's just, it was just like releasing bad, it. it. That's another thing. Is that like you're, you're okay to cry? Yeah. Like everybody is. It doesn't man. happen often, but when it does, it's like the most like therapeutic. Like I heard the dance by ever. Garth Brooks the other night, and I cried. <laughs> I did. I was I thinking you, back I cried, the moments. I cried. I cried. I cried, uh, I cried last week listening to that freaking Kanye West song about his daughter. Oh yeah. And I got a 20 month old daughter, and I'm sitting in there in the car like, <laughs> like yep. <laughs> like Changes being like freaking everything. like freaking Kanye. Yeah. Uh, but. But yeah, so like to answer your question, and thank you for asking. 
Now, I was asking how you would react, not, but not, see, that's that thing we go back yeah. to. Of like, but, but I would, but I like, but I, I think like the truth has to be put out there. Like it has to be put out because you don't, you have, what's the alternative? Right. Withholding the truth is the exact same thing as lying. Yeah. And it's like, do you want to live a lie? Or do you want to live in truth? And there's really no in between. Yeah. Like there's there's literally no in between. And when you start thinking about that, then it puts everything in this perspective of like seeking the truth in all areas of your life, mm -hmm. um, which is a very interesting place to be. But it's a very um, growth mindset. It's a very it's a very expansive place to be mentally oh yeah when you're all about the truth uh -huh. because one lie creates another one and then the whole series goes. but but why but why would I when you just asked me that like mm -hmm. like Jesus <laughs> like putting me on the spot here like like it would have been so easy for me to listen to that question just now and just been like I don't know what you I don't I don't, I don't know what you what yeah. well, I don't know what I would tell him like, yeah, I don't know and then just like continue on my day yeah and like not have had this conversation that we're having right now. Um, but why would I have done that? Mm -hmm. It would have because it would have been because like I would be afraid of who would see this and I would be afraid sure. of what they think. Yeah. And it's ego. They're like that's all it is. Like uh -huh. it's literally the only thing that would have stopped me from saying what I just said is ego. Yeah. But when you start really embracing this idea of like not caring what people think, yeah. It's not just that you don't it's not that you don't care about them. Right. You just know that their opinion doesn't matter. Like their opinion doesn't affect what your, your their opinion, you're always gonna care, Yeah. but it shouldn't affect your actions. It shouldn't affect the things that you do. Sure. By what somebody else thinks about it. And even when it hurts, like that, like that, like I promise you somebody's gonna be watching this video and I'm getting emotional even thinking about it, Jesus. You see, this is what I'm going to tell you, man. Like, it's the same thing I told him. He feels awful about it. Yeah. But, but even after he had no game plan after he told his wife, no no, you know, need to tell the son, but yeah. after he told her he didn't have a game plan. Yeah. And I was like, you haven't forgiven yourself yet. Yeah. Like, even if she says, oh, it's okay, I would he still feel better? No, he hasn't forgiven himself. Yeah. How many things have you done in your life you're embarrassed about or wish you could go back and change? Mm -hmm. A lifetime of them. But you wouldn't be where you are without them. And... That's not to just make you feel better about the situation, um, yeah. you know. No, it's, but it's true. Like, like, and in, in what I was saying, like, I, like, there are, like, there are going to be people that are going to get hurt hearing what I just said. A lot of people, mm -hmm. like her, my parents, other family of mine, family of hers, people we know. But. Okay. Yeah. Like it's 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 the truth. It's the truth. <laughs> like, and and you have to be willing sometimes to go through pain to live life the right way. Like you do. like if you if you make if you made a decision like you can't you can't say like man I'm all about man I'm all about like doing what's right mm -hmm. when it's comfortable or like man I'm all about doing what's right. From here moving forward, yep. it's like if if you're all about doing what's right, then you're all about doing what's right. Like, <laughs> like as as it, as as uncomfortable as it can possibly get. Yeah, and that's why like you brought up this this idea, this topic of transparency. It's like I'm a hundred percent transparent mm -hmm. when it makes me look good. Oh boy, <laughs> like yeah, like I'll tell everything. Like I, man, like. I've lost a bunch of weight lately. Uh, you know, here recently, like I'll take my shirt off on camera on Instagram, but would I have done it before? Right. Like yeah. when I was in the worst shape of my life, like yeah. I'll talk about all this, all these struggles I went through. Once I've gotten on the other side and really figured it out and really figured yep. out the way to position it to make me look freaking awesome. Yeah. Like, like there's no. There's no nobility in that, like like telling the the bad stuff when you've got the good story to to make you look good from it. Right. Like it's being willing to tell the bad stuff, and say like I don't have the rest figured out yet. Like like even that like that 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 was something I did a long time ago. 
There could be stuff that I did yesterday, yeah. and if it was wrong, and like confessing those things or talking about those things that like you're still dealing with, and you don't have the answers to, right. and and you know people are going to look at you differently, and, mm -hmm. and being like, I don't really care how people look. At and me. and with your parents, you know, like th that's you know s something in itself there, but they taught you to, I'm sure, learn from mistakes. Absolutely. Everybody kind of starts yeah. with that, and you did. Yeah. And I see the absolutely. proof on your wall here in the yeah. studio yeah, yeah. with your wife and yeah. beautiful daughter. Yeah, absolutely. So that's, I, you know what, Mr. and Mrs. Harris, likely <laughs> aunt and uncle of me, if we got it down, you know, he, he's learned. And I mean. Well, it's interesting because I've, I've, thought, I've thought about it, and it's like, did they want me to be a good person in college, or did they want me to grow up to be a good person? Right. Period. Yeah. Like that. And then like what does grow up mean? Like, <laughs> what, like you know, uh, yeah. when do you grow up? Is it 18? Is it this? Is that? Or is it ever? Or is it ever? Yeah. Like, what does grow up mean? Mm -hmm. Like, grow up, it, stop learning? Yeah. Hopefully to, never. And, and to me, the, the definition of growing up is when you've, finally taken personal responsibility for not just the good stuff, but all the bad stuff. Oh yeah. Like when you've taken personal responsibility and you've owned it. Mm -hmm. Like being able to own the stuff you've done, to be able to own the stuff that's been done to you yeah. and know that like whatever that stuff was, it's either something that you allowed to have happen, mm -hmm. but the stuff that happened to you that you couldn't control, that you've allowed to influence the last five, 10, 15, 20 yep. years. Because I used, to, I used to talk about like how everything's your fault. Everything's your fault. And I believe that everything's your fault. But then I would have those subjects like, well, what about when I was molested as a child? Or what about when I was sexually assaulted? Was that my fault? And I'm like, crap, geez, no. That was not your fault. Well, we also have a you're, But the right fact now. that you're 50, the fact that you're 50, 55 years old, 60 years old, and you're still letting what happened to you when you were 13 yep. affect how you view the world, affect how you handle your relationships, affect how you treat your kids, affect how you treat your wife or your husband. Like, that is your fault. Absolutely. That is your fault. Yeah, well, it, and it's how, how your reaction, you know, to yeah. a lot of things. Um, you know, I, I know we were we, we were going to wrap this up 15 <laughs> minutes ago, but and when we I just, just said I we're on we the same wavelength, yeah. boy, we may have just started a new podcast. Yeah. I know enough about broadcasting to know don't open that can of worms, mm -hmm. but we're on the same wavelength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because I use an example that touched you, and you use one that touched me. Yeah. Because, I mean, that's the thing is, back to the original point, yeah. you think your life sucks. Yeah. You think your life sucks. Mm -hmm. Don't go up to anybody and say, boy, my life sucks. Here's why. They're going to give you nine, ten more reasons why exactly. they're worse. Um, but and, it's but to learn from them. And that, it's like the best way to go through life is understanding that when you talk about, about tr treating others like you want to be treated, I think the key to that is every day as you walk through life, understanding that you have no earthly idea what the person on the other side of the table has gone through. Mm. And, and that, that, gives you, that gives you forgiveness, yeah. that gives you like grace, that gives you um, uh, patience. Oh yeah. To know that like, when you're at a restaurant and the server is just giving you terrible, terrible service, mm -hmm. or does something that frustrates you, it's easy to be like, ah, yeah. and, like and get pissed off. Like, this is the worst freaking service I've ever had, and leave them no tip. Yeah. But, but what you don't know is, is right before that server came on shift, what they were dealing with at home yeah. in the horrible situation that like they're, they're winning that day just by showing up yeah. because they have, you have no idea what mm -hmm. they're going through. Like if you can go through life looking at it in that regard, then it'll give you like that's empathy like that's empathy for the the things that you don't even know exists yeah. around you yeah. and uh, TJ and I've been talking about this uh, a lot lately it's like it's almost like those that have been willing to drop their ego the most like have completely dropped their ego sometimes appear to have the biggest ego of all like I look at a guy like Sean Whalen and, and the reason I've mentioned him a couple times is because I just spent a day with him two days ago but like people will call this guy a dick like oh yeah and like this kid is arrogant mm -hmm. 
He's freaking like you talk about ego. Like, dude, there's no more. There's no more egotistical looking person. Yeah. But it's because he completely is 100% comfortable with himself and the things that he's done and the things that he's doing to where he doesn't care about anyone mm-hmm. and what they think. Yeah. But he'll do anything for you. Right. And when you don't care about anyone, like when you can literally stand on a stage, and he did, and say, like, I don't care about any of you guys. Like, I don't care. Like, the least. Yeah. It makes him appear to have the biggest ego, but he's the one with the le- lowest ego in the entire room. But without a question. And, like, it's it's so, like, catch-22-ish. Mm-hmm. <laughs> you know, oh, like, it, it just seems like it doesn't make sense. Yeah. But when you start... When you start embodying that, mm-hmm. and, and then it, it just becomes, it just becomes so like clear. Free. It's so, Free. It just becomes clear. Yeah, it's liberation. Free.